Hey guys, what's going on? I want to apologize first off before I started the video for not having this video out yesterday. I usually do my weekly grinds on Wednesday. Uh, the problem was I was at work the other day on Tuesday night and it was around 7.30. I didn't realize what time it was and I ended up drinking a uh, Monster or half of a Red Bull actually. Uh, I ended up t pounding back half of a Red Bull around 7.30, 8 o'clock at night, not realizing what time it was. Um, I ended up going home. I was not able to fall asleep, so I was up all night in bed the other night. I didn't wake up until about a half hour before I had to go to work, and I had to get ready and everything, so that's why I did not get you that video yesterday. Then as soon as I got home, I popped some melatonin, and I went right to bed. So I really want to apologize to everyone, because uh, you always make sure to at least do three videos a week. I try to get you a video a day. Uh, I, I know I have not been on my game with that, and honestly, I think that going forward in the future, it's probably only going to be uh, four videos a week. Uh, for the foreseeable future anyway, probably the next month or two. Uh, I, I don't think I could keep up with a consistent uh, daily video routine. Uh, just because of the amount of time it takes to do a recording, rendering, uploading, and everything like that. To go through the news, cipher, so I go through everything to make sure I get you all the good information. I'm not. That doesn't mean I'm not going to be giving you guys good quality videos anymore. It just means that there's going to be uh, less videos that, that will be out. Uh, so, but I want to go over everything that's happening here, as you get the image over here, but we're going to be starting off with the weekly grind. This weekly grind is going to be a little bit different, it's going to be a little bit longer, because it's going to be covering all the news I wasn't covering in all the other separate videos. So, uh, let's go ahead and jump into it. First one is the Saiyan Warrior Races here. Um, it's actually been here since the 11th, it runs until the 30th. You can go in here and you can grab the, the Nappa, uh, he Doken Awakens. If you have the old school Nappa, personally I didn't Doken Awaken my old school Nappa just because he's like kind of like a legacy now. You can't get him anymore. It's the same exact card, it just has a different name. Same thing with this Vegeta, just a different name. Um, they're both they're the same things, you can get them up to Super Attack 10 if you've been playing since the game came out. That's when these guys first got launched, the same thing with this Gohan, but the, the Gohans actually believe the same exact uh, title. But if you guys want to go ahead and grab those, you can. Uh, they're not great. They're not horrible. I mean, actually, they're not. They're not horrible. They they are horrible. <laughs> they're all really bad. They're really so old, and they even with their passive of medium chance, and uh, they're just bad. They, they, there's no use for any of these cards. Anyway, uh, powerful support item. This is really good. A princess snake recover 55% HP and reduce damage received by 30% for one turn. Really good item to have. You also want to get these um, Moon Nappa cards, or I mean, cards on uh, metals, or you can call them Ghost Nappa. I don't know however you guys want to do that. You use them to Doken Wake in the Vegeta, the Grade 8 Vegeta, the Grade 8 Raditz, and the Grade 8 Nappa. The Grade 8 Nappa is the free to play one, so you can Doken Wake in him if you want, and he's still not that great, even when he Doken Awakens. Um, the Go ones are available on stage 3. Piccolo and Goku medals are on stage 4 and 5. Uh, Chiaotu medals are on stage 7, Krillin medals are on stage 8, you have Vegeta's available from stage 9, and the Moon Nappas are on stage 10. The moon Nappas are, they're not hard to get, they're just, I just didn't have as much luck getting them, it took me about 20 runs to get all the ones I needed. Uh, maybe you'll have different luck than I did. Uh, you have to go up against, I know, from off of memory now, I remember you have to go up against uh, Vegeta, Nappa, and Raditz, and then they all try to transform into great apes once you beat them. So for older players, it's definitely not a big deal. Uh, newer players, you might have a little bit of trouble with it. Um, next one is going to be the Dragon Ball Universe 6 Saga. That runs until the 25th, so you definitely have some time. You have another week before that ends. Uh, this is where you get the medals, the Champa and, and um, Vados medals. You can Doken Awake in your Hit. Uh, you can Doken Awake in your Kaba here as well. The Kaba is available from the game. I would recommend grinding him out. He's a really good free-to-play unit. Uh, the Let's see. You have Dendes from Stage 4, which you can grind, which is kind of notable. Uh, Vados medals are on Stage 2. Um, Kaba is available from stage 6, and Vegeta medals are stage 7, and Champa medals are stage 8. So stage 6 is where you get your uh, Kaba, where, and then you're going to Doken Awaken him. I'd recommend getting off the Super Attack 10 before you Doken Awaken him. I don't think he warrants having any dupe system fed into him, but if you're 100% free to play, um, then maybe you would want to do something like that. But uh, outside of that, I don't think it's worth it. <clears throat> um, yep, that's it. That's all there is for this event. There's really nothing else to mention here. Uh, now, actually, that's all that really is going on on Global right now. There's only those two events. So let's go ahead and talk about the summon. Uh, we have the Tech Character Summon, and that's because there's actually more information coming. I'm going to go over that in a second. Tech Character Summons are available. Runs until the 30th. If you want to summon on that, you have some really good tech support. I did one summon. I got two Elder Kai's, and I got Cell. So I was happy. I know I did it off camera, guys. I apologize. I don't think I'm going to be doing any more. Um, that, maybe at some point in the future, but I mean, the only thing I believe that the uh, uh, actual uh, Rose and uh, Black card are in here, or not the Rose and Black, the Rose and Zamasu LR card is available in here. Uh, I would like them, but it's not a priority for me. So it wasn't really a big deal for me to go ham on this banner, or at least to try to do multiple summons. I would have really preferred the TM because I have a really good team, but outside of that, uh, outside of that, guys, if you don't plan on running Monotech team, this probably isn't the banner for you. Uh, this Bardock is good, so if you're looking for someone to mix with your LR Goku, 
uh, he, the, the Super Saiyan Goku. This Bardock is his best linking buddy. So I would recommend going for him if you if you don't were, are looking to get him. Um, these cards really aren't, the other ones aren't, aren't really that great. I mean, this Goku, the Angel Goku, isn't that good. This Gohan is, I guess, cool if you're going up against a long event because he has the, the power to regenerate once all your health. Uh, Korra is just outdated. There's nothing else you could really say about that. Um, and that's about it for the banner. Uh, it's really up to you on if you like your Super Saiyan 3 Angel Goku team or if you're waiting for that Super Saiyan 3 Broly to come out. That's the only time I'm going to say that you should really kind of summon on this banner. Outside of that, probably not. Unless you want some Elder Kai's. We also have the Universe 6 summons that are here. That runs until the 21st, so it ends in three days if you guys want to do that. I don't think it's worth it in my opinion. Uh, I also already have Kale and Khalifa and this Frieza because I pulled them all off their banner. Like, not off their individual banners. Uh, as secondary units, they are always available in pools, guys. So you don't have to worry about getting them from their specific banners. Plus, they kind of like sprinkle them around all over the place. So you'll end up getting one eventually. That's why I say it's really not worth it. Um, Super Saiyan God Goku's in here. Whis is in here. Khalif, uh, and that's about it. So, yeah, not really worth it in my opinion. But it's up to you if you want to summon on it. I don't think it is. If you do, good luck. Uh, that runs again three more days. Uh, let's see, this is the updated release. So we have finally have the update. Unfortunately, this release does not include the potential... Uh, the potential grid system update, which I was really hoping for. Um, I believe it's going to be the next one that comes out, the one where you could select one and it unlocks all the pads at once, because I was really hoping for that, because the Android thing just came out, and I do have some of my Android pads opened up, but I don't want to have to do each individual one. Um, but we're going to talk about that in a second. So that came out. Um, we have a new interface. So if you guys don't play the JP side, this has been the new interface on JP for a while now. Um, it separates the story, growth, and challenge modes. So, challenge is like all the Dokkan Fest exclusives, and I believe the Strike events. Growth is uh, essentially all of the um, growth. Oh, I guess it's like the potential orbs and stuff like that. And then story modes is the actual events that are currently available. Uh, so, you can go ahead and do that. The menu button has changed. The menu button is now on the bottom left over here. Uh, we have the Baba Shop Exchange now on the bottom right, so you don't go in the shop. The shop is just for Dragon Stones now. Um, and that's about it. I guess you could also click on passive skill to actually get a better readout of what the passive skill is. And you could take a look at your summon history, I guess, at this point. Uh, it will not date back to your previous summon history. It's only from this version moving forward. That was never tracked. So that's available as of now. So go ahead, update the game. It's going to be available in the Play Store. Um, we're going to also go over the other stuff here. The Super Saiyan uh, SSR Vegito can now be Doken Awaken. You can Doken Awaken him to a TUR. We do not have his LR information yet, at least as th that I'm aware of. I haven't really searched for it myself. Um, but it's currently not available. So you can go ahead. You can grind these out from quests. If you go into the Supreme Kai trial missions underneath the mission rewards, uh, you can take a look to find out which levels have them. You have to meet certain requirements on certain quest modes to get the Patara earrings. That's going to be your best way to find it. I'm sure the, the Reddit has already posted up, so go ahead and check out the Reddit for it. I'm sure it's posted up over there. If not, I will be covering that in a separate video. Um... The LR, oh, the LR Android campaign has just started. It runs from today, well, from it's already launched now. It runs until 2.18, so you have one full month to do this. Essentially, it's the same thing as the LR Goku. You have to get your Androids uh, Super Attack 10, or Super, Super Attack 20, get all four dupes unlocked, and get them um, all, uh, get the full potential orb system in, and you get a whole bunch of really good rewards. Plus, you get some Androids as well, which are really useful if you are trying if you clear up the Dokkan Events mission rewards. Dokkan Event once, up to five times. Uh, five Androids, three, three, two, one. So that's five, that's five, that's ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. So you have enough to get into Super Attack 10 with all four dupes unlocked just from doing that. Plus, you just need to get ten more from Friend Summons. And each time you clear a Dokkan Event, you also get a Reverse Dokening, which is really awesome. So you get two, four, six, seven Reverse Dokening um, uh, uh, little uh, hourglasses, which is really awesome. Recruit Limitless Androids, Android 17 and 18, which I believe that is, yeah, that's the um, actual uh, LR variant, so get them to LR, and you get all these rewards, 17 Dragon Stones, then level up Android 17, 18, Super Attack, to Super Attack 20, get 18 Dragon Stones, uh, and some other cool stuff, especially the, the Elder Kai's are really notable, which I did get mine, the only thing I have left to do is activate 100% of the Android 17 and 18's hidden potential, so that's going to be awesome, get all your orbs back, I already have like half their dupe system in, so I can't wait to get the rest of them and get all those orbs back, it makes life so much easier. So that's going to be awesome. So I'm sure we're going to get these for the rest of them. I'm waiting for the Frieza one. The Frieza one is such a pain in the butt. I only have like half those metals grinded. So I need to get him to LR. And then I'll probably use Elder Kai's on him to get him to Super Attack 20. But anyway, 
That's only if it comes, it becomes available. Uh, we also have other information here. Uh, looks like Dokkan events will be available, part two. So any of the Android 17 and 18 Dokkan events that you need are going to be available for you daily. So go ahead and grind them out if you need to. They're really not that bad. They're all the old school ones. So if you have any of the new uh, uh, actual category leaders, you should be fine and get, go, get through those without a problem. Uh, Dokkan events available, part three, I guess is the 70% leads. And these are, this is going to be from the 19th to 218 is the old the og leaders and then we have the new 70 percent leaders and above like 70 percent and 100 percent leaders from the 21st to the 18th and i believe that's it first attempt per day will co event uh, come fully activate lr and uh, that, that's just first attempt available per day during the event come fully activate lr android 17 and 18's hidden potential um, also the agility potential orbs are open daily so that's what that was actually about so go ahead and take full advantage of that. I already did today, and I plan on doing it in the future. We also have the celebration event on the global side that's going on right now. So it looks like we have, well, obviously the login bonuses, which I'm not going to go over here, but we have login bonuses every day. We always do. Uh, we have the New Year's Special Missions Part 2. You can go over to the Special Missions and take a look at what the daily missions are. Dragonstone sales, which I would definitely recommend taking advantage of if you plan on putting money into the game. Always get the sales when they're available. Uh, personally, I will only do the buy one Dragonstone a day when it's buy five Dragonstones for the price of one if it's by three i don't find it worth it i mean because you could get the bigger packs for the same exact ratio so the buy one a day unless you're like just going for really cheap like maybe you want to spend five bucks and at that point maybe um legendary campaign which i just went over the supreme kai trials uh, have been added so go ahead and check those out which i already talked about um stamina required for dokken events have aim for dokken awakening so that actually makes life a lot easier for those of you who need to run through it personally i have a whole bunch of super saiyan 3 angel goku that i got to go through so that's going to help me out a lot this weekend um, I'll probably do a live stream. I know I told you guys I was going to do a live stream a while ago. I'm sorry. I apologize for not getting to do that. Um, again, it was just it's just been a, a crazy couple weeks for me. So I plan on really stepping my game back up this week. Um, the stamina required for Dokken events have. We already talked about that. Stamina required for Super Strike events have. Um, I don't know if this is going to be the permanent one that happened on the JP side. And if it is, heck yeah, that's going to be awesome for us. Uh, two new characters can both be fully Dokken Awakened through this event. This is going to be awesome. I'm going to talk about this in a minute because I have the information on that because it's available on the wiki and dbz.space. Shout out to dbz.space, by the way. Uh, that's the site I'm using. As you see in my URL bar, I keep it up here so you know what every all the time what sites I am using. So that way, if you ever need to you know, go and look at what I'm looking at, you could always type it in the URL bar. Um, so two new characters available from the new Vegeta event that's coming out. The Vegeta is the Indomitable Warrior event. That's going to be awesome. This Beerus looks really cool. Personally, I'm not a huge fan of him. But we're going to talk about him in a minute. Uh, the event goes alive on the 18th tonight, essentially. So it actually goes on tonight. 2200 PST or 2230 PST, which is early, early in the morning for us in the Eastern time zone. And any of you guys um, in the Eastern side of the hemisphere, it's going to be uh, available way later or earlier for you. Or later for you, yeah. Uh, the next day, actually. <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, new story event, Vegeta, the Indomitable Warrior. We already talked about that. L uh, LR Trunks is coming. That's going to be awesome. He's going to be part of Legendary Summon. Remember that event, that event, that banner on the JP side had a bunch, a bunch of other cards on there. So don't get too hyped about it because he is going to be a featured unit. But there's way too many of them. I'm not going to be going ham for him myself. I might try one or two times, though. Uh, uh, Hero Extermination Plan available daily so from 121 to 29 we have a full almost well actually we have about two weeks maybe three weeks two and a half weeks while this is available daily so that's going to be awesome for anyone who needs to grab that super strike events are available every day future trunk saga is back so go ahead and get that one you can it runs on starts on the 21st and runs until the 9th so you have a couple days for that before that's available again but you can go ahead and get, get that trunks and all the information from here when it comes available again of course i'll add that to my next weekly grind dragon ball gt start black star dragon is going to be coming again on the 21st as well make sure you grind that out and get those metal apples i believe this is the metal apple one and you can go into the actual bob shop and buy a whole bunch of stuff the balma genius battle prep is coming as well that runs on that starts on the 21st and it ends on the 26th and that is when the world tournament is supposed to start we have the new world tournament with the new gohan so let's go ahead and jump into all this stuff first off this is the gohan shout out to the dokkan battle wiki uh this is the one that's gonna be available as a world tournament prize um his super attack the supreme damage his leader ability is kind of meh uh his passive skill breaking away from dependence key plus three attack and defense plus 60 percent when facing two or less enemies he has a really nice passive skill that makes him self-reliant and he does some decent damage for a world tournament card he's not really that bad um newer players definitely he raises his attack and defense by 30 percent for three turns so he's going to get a full 90 percent buff on his uh, when he launches super attacks if he got, constantly gets them off and honestly he doesn't have the best link skills but he does have gaze of respect which is kind of common on a mono intelligence team if you have like piccolo and gohans 
uh, shocking speed as well. So you're going to have a high chance of getting them off if you link him up with one of those guys. He also has some, I mean, I, same warrior race as a throwaway link. All in the family is a, kind of a throwaway link because you really, it's not good for attack damage. It's good to help him tank a little bit, especially because he keeps on giving himself this uh, defense buff. If you get it all in the family link, it'll be good. Saiyan lineage. Uh, key plus one if you have anyone on the team who would actually have that and Z fighter is just not that common If you do have it on, the, on that team, it'll be pretty good I'm not gonna actually go over all that right now. It's not gonna do a team building guide here overall. He's not a horrible unit He's not a great unit He is farmable with the uh, strength Gohans over here though uh, This Gohan's from the hero extermination plan so you can go ahead and grind them out get them up to super attack 10 if you would like to uh, The next one is going to be we're gonna talk about the uh, the Dokkan variant of a weird well the actual Beerus over here He doesn't have a Dokkan awakening yet, uh, but we're gonna talk about him and we're going to, oh, actually he does. And we're going to talk about the Vegeta. So let's go ahead and jump into that. Uh, the, the Beerus, we're going to talk about his Dokkan version, his leader ability, intelligence type attack plus 33% per intelligence key or obtained. Supreme damage raises the defense by 30% for six turns. So he's going to be a little bit of a tanker. His passive skill attack plus 20% when performing a super attack. So that's all right, I guess. Um, that's that's decent with supreme damage. Okay, so that, that 120% is actually really phenomenal. Problem is the only he does have Whis to link with, but that's really all he has to link with. Godly power, prodigies, connoisseur, the innocent, shocking speed, shattering limit, berserker. He's going to be really good on a realm of gods team. Let me put it like that. He'll be really good on a realm of gods team. He's going to he's finally a Beerus that everyone can get excited about because he does a lot of damage. Unfortunately, he doesn't have immense damage. I know a lot of people have been waiting for him to have immense damage, but guys, he's not horrible because 120% at percent attack buff with a supreme damage modifier. It's not really that bad. Um, overall, 140% 12 key multiplier. So he didn't get too shafted. If he had immense, I feel like he would be a little bit overpowered for a non-Dokan um, non Fest exclusive. Um, his link skills are perfect for his for who he is as a character. So you can link him up with that intelligence Weiss on a mono intelligence team or on a godly power team. Any of the Weisses that you want. If you want to do the tech one or the agility one or Weiris or whoever the heck you want. Really good unit. Solid unit. I really like him. He's going to be doing. He's going to do pretty good. Um, we also had the Vegeta I want to go over, but I don't know where the heck I put him. So, oh, here we go. I put him in the wrong location, so we want to go over here with it. So we have this. There we go, yeah. We have this Vegeta. This is the Agility Vegeta. Key plus two. This is the free-to-play one that you can grind out from the event that's coming for the, the Vegeta event. Agility type key plus two, HP, uh, key plus two, HP and defense plus 50%. Super attack is Gallic on supreme damage to the enemy. Uh, true feelings revealed key plus three attack and defense plus 50% when facing only one enemy counters with enormous power upon receiving normal attacks wow okay so he counters that's phenomenal didn't realize he countered um this is really looks like a really good unit actually he's better than the world tournament go on wow holy crap uh same warriors royal lineage prodigies golden warrior berserker and prepared for battle so i mean berserker's kind of whack he at least he has he does have prepared for battle and he has prodigies which is an updated link skill um, so that's not horrible. Actually, I think is is it? I forgot. Um, so he does have prepare for battle, which is really good, and golden warrior and super saiyan warrior race. So in saiyan warrior race again, throwaway link. It's really only key that he has here. Berserker almost is never activated, so it's very difficult to get that activated. So I kind of don't count that. Um, and prodigies is really so is his only good attack link. So he doesn't have good link skills in my opinion. He does have some good key links, but he really doesn't need it because of his passive skill. Overall, he's a really good unit, though. I, I'm really excited about this. I'm a big Vegeta fanboy, so I can't really... I'm a really big Vegeta fan, so I, I can't wait for that. Uh, this is the... I believe this is the summonable one, so this one's going to be really awesome. This one I can't wait to get. Um, this is going to be super type, key plus 3, HP attack, and defense plus 40%. So he's actually a really decent leader for new players, anyway. Super attack, furious, Gallic gun, greatly raises attack for one turn, causes supreme damage to the enemy. Passive skill, attack and defense plus 100%. Counters with tremendous power upon receiving normal attacks. Rage when HP is 30% or below. He's actually really freaking awesome. I kind of want to pull for him. I really do. Uh, him and the Beerus are both awesome, but I would really like this Vegeta. This is such an awesome Vegeta. Um, the attack and defense buff alone is just phenomenal. Um, greatly raises attack for one turn, too. I just can't wait to see how much damage this guy can do. Uh, man. Anyway, uh, Super Saiyan, Royal Lineage, Prodigies, Golden Warrior, Berserker, Prepared for Battle, and Shattering the Limit. Overall, decent card, uh, decent link skills, a really good unit in my opinion. Um, he has a whole bunch of keys, so you're always going to get super attacks off. There's a lot of different ways for him to get his key. Uh, I will be, I, I will probably go for him just because I really like the unit. He looks awesome. Uh, and Vegeta is one of my favorite characters. Uh, let's go over here. We're on the JP side now of Dokkan Battle. So for those of you who stuck through the 20-minute video, about 20 minutes, of global information, thank you. I appreciate it. Um, a whole bunch of cool stuff's coming over. There's only four tabs left to go over for the JP side, so if you want to stick around, please feel free to do so. If not, please go ahead and hit that like button. Thank you for joining me.
Anyway, the uh, story event reprint of uh, the Battle of Gods is here. So you can go ahead and get that if you want to. You get the, the Beerus medals for Todoken Awaken, the Goku card. You have the Whis medals, the Todoken Awaken, the Whis cards. And you have this Goku card, which Doken Awaken is to do Super Saiyan, which is a 50% chance when you Z Awaken him to feed into the other Super Saiyan Goku cards. You also have all these other medals that are down here, the Videl, Gohan, Vegeta, Goten, and Trunks medals. They all Doken Awaken the summonable physical white hot face off Goku into the Super Saiyan God Goku. He can feed into any of the other God Gokus. You Z Awaken him to a UT or to an Ultra Rare to feed in for 100% chance into all of them. I would recommend doing it. Beerus medals are stage one. We're, uh, Whis medals are stage two. You have Peel Off and his gang. There on those uh, stages three and four they're really good items i definitely recommend doing it um stage five is gohan stage six is goten and trunks stage seven is vegeta stage eight is videl goku is on stage nine and that's about it these are really good medals i mean uh, support units guys so if you don't have them go for them uh, that runs until the third uh, th three nine to so march 9th so this is going to be available for a long time so go ahead and grind that out when you want to uh, next one is the same Warrior Race event is back. I'm not going to go over this since I already went over it for the global side, but it's going to be available until the 1st of February, so you have about two weeks left to grind that out. Uh, nothing else added here on the JP side, so go ahead and feel free to do that. Uh, the other one is going to be the Hope of the uh, Future Trunks Arc event for the one with the androids and stuff like that. So this is cool. You have this Trunks Doken Wakes into Super Saiyan. You have the Vegeta who finally gets a Doken Wake with Nimbus medals and Vegeta medals. Um, recommend doing that. You also have this free to play Trunks, which is really good. He gets two Doken Awakenings, so I highly recommend doing that. Second Doken Awakening is actually coming from the Trunks medals from his Doken event, so he gets Fierce Battle. Uh, the base form Trunks that's grindable requires uh, Android 17, 18 medals, Vegeta, Gohan medals, and Cell medals. So the actual Gohan's not kind of whack. You don't need him. Gohan medals are stage four. Trunks are found on stage five to grind them out to Super Attack 10. Stage six is Android 17 and 18. Good luck on that because they have horrible drop rates. Like you'll, you'll always get one and not the other. Stage seven is Vegeta medals and stage eight is Cell medals. You could also grind out Hercule statues from stage nine. Uh, you have some good Balma items from Stage 11. So, so same thing with Android 8 from Stage 10. He's not that bad. And Icarus Metals are definitely something to look into grinding out on Stage 12. Overall, really awesome event. Runs until the 1st of February, so go ahead and grind that out while you can. Last but not least, we have this banner. I don't think it's worth it. I don't know what LR LRs are on it. I didn't look into that. Runs until the 1st. It's the rival banner between Goku and Vegeta. Doesn't really look like there's anything good here. You have the two God Goku and Vegeta cards, and I'm not a big fan of them. And it looks like you have the Super Saiyan variants of each of them, the base form variants of each of them, and then the, the God variants of each of them. Don't think it's worth it in my opinion. I wouldn't recommend pulling on it. But anyway, guys, thank you for joining me here today. Uh, stay tuned. I'll be doing some more informational videos, and I'll probably do some inf some team building on this uh, Vegeta and the Beerus cards, and probably that Gohan for you as well, just because I'm super hyped about them. Um, but yeah, anyway, guys, thank you for joining me here today. Make sure to subscribe if you're new, and I'll catch you all later. Peace.